Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are talking all about the new EcoFlow, EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. Let's get into it. Previous video, I talked about the Delta Pro Ultra, and it was a teaser that we saw back in September. Uh, not a lot of details, just a 3D rendering, and um, you know, kind of a lot of conjecture. The uh, <laughs> that's changed. The Delta Pro Ultra has been officially announced by. Uh, EcoFlow, and as of yesterday, some new information, new specs have been produced by EcoFlow as far as the Delta Pro Ultra, so we've got a lot to dig into, and um, there's a lot to, to digest, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to call out the pretty big thing that I see already, and that is that although it's called the Delta Pro Ultra, there's not a single Delta Pro item that is compatible with it, <laughs> all right? So that's Huge slap in the face. The, the existing Delta Pro batteries, extra batteries, are not compatible with it. The existing smart home panel, not compatible with the new Delta Pro Ultra. Um, I doubt, in fact, I'm pretty sure the, the voltage hub doesn't, isn't compatible with it. So there's, there's really nothing in the Delta Pro lineup that works on the Delta Pro Ultra. So it's, it's really bad branding by EcoFlow. And also, more importantly, really bad product decision, right? Like here you've got all these customers that have bought into your lineup and you release this, this new product and you're in no way trying to make it compatible with anything that you've released before. Bad decision, bad decision. And I say shame on EcoFlow for doing that completely wrong decision. I, I can't disagree with that enough um, for what that's worth. They're not going to listen to me, of course, but I am going to call it out and say terrible decision. It's just kind of a real <laughs> uh, up yours to all the people that have supported you through the past several years. Okay, so if you go to ecoflow.com US Delta Pro Ultra, you're going to go to this page and you can sign up, uh, obviously, to stay in contact about, uh, you know, different release information that they're going to share. What's here is not, you know, um, there, there's some good information here. Let, let's start with the picture. Obviously, you can connect up to three banks to the new smart home panel, which is 12 circuits. Um, that would be 12 total circuits. So if you did split phase circuits, it pro I believe it'd still only be six, actually six um, split phase circuits if you did it that way. If you had all three, you could get up to 90 kilowatt uh, hour capacity, which is, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, for my house, that would be more than enough. Um, but <laughs> I don't know the pricing, so I'm imagining that's going to be very expensive, but we'll move on. <clears throat> uh, one unit, 240 volt output, which is awesome. Uh, unofficially I've heard confirmed that if you're using the smart home panel, you can recharge while outputting at 240 uh, volt output, which is great because if you look at the new Ancure Solix, it cannot out recharge and output at 240 volts. So that is a, a real problem for it uh, that the Delta Pro Ultra uh, is capable of doing if you combine it with a, their new smart home panel. Um, other good stuff is that, you know, the single inverter can output 7200. That's much, much better than the existing Delta Pro at 3600. Uh, very good stuff, peaking out at 10.8, you know, so on, so on. You can run a uh, air conditioner and other stuff, which is great. All the things that I've had to deal with over time. Um, and then you could triple all, all three to get a combined output of 21.6, which, again, um, I'm not saying it could do everything for everybody's house, but it could probably do most people's house with that, um, in, you know, with very few caveats. Um, solar input, awesome stuff. We'll get into that in a minute when I get to the spec sheet, but, um, so suffice to say they've, they've definitely improved this, which is fantastic. Right. And then, so obviously they're offering, uh, you know, you pay $300 now, you can get up to $1,500 off of the, um, ultra when it appears. And, you know, this is a total, <laughs> Leap of faith. We have no idea what the price of these are. Are they five thousand a piece? Are they ten thousand a piece? Six thousand? Three thousand? We don't know. Um, all we know is that you put if you shell up three hundred dollars right now, you can get fifteen hundred dollars off when they announce the pricing. They do say that as low as four XXX. 
I can almost guarantee you that's going to be $4.99. <laughs> $4.999. Uh, I'm almost certain it's a $5,000 number. Um, so uh, that's with the $1,500 off, obviously. So it wouldn't be $1,500 off of this. It'd be after your $1,500, you're going to be paying somewhere in the $4,000 range. That's what this is saying. Um, then you can purchase the coupon, blah, blah, blah. There's only so many. The coupons are being sold from now until, you know, this is 500 until they run out or until, er, let's see, January, which the product will be shipping in January. Just, uh, there's a few pictures that are starting to appear in the wild, um, which you can see here. Uh, not a whole lot of details. A lot of this is covered up, but you can see you got your 120 volt by 20 amps. You got, uh, three of those and then you've got a 240 30 amp here which is going to be again the, the size of this plug tells me it's not going to be like a um uh, oh i can't think of the nema something the dryer uh your standard dryer plug is going to be something else um i'm almost certain uh just based on the size of that but we'll find out and here's another one comparing it to a delta pro you can see the profile is it was well, much wider um, looks heavier, beefier, <laughs> um, but you know, overall, I kind of like the form factor. I think it's good. Um, you know, we saw in the other picture how it stacks, so I think that's a good thing. Um, and I think this is probably not uh, not a bad form factor at all. Okay, so all that stuff, good information, right? Um, like what I saw there, some you know, uh, very uh, advanced features, capabilities uh, as far as output and input. Sounds like it's going to be good. Pricing, um, a little steep, right? Like they're talking with 1500 off, you're still gonna be paying somewhere in the four mark, and I'm guessing the high four mark, right? Probably not on the lower four mark. So that means that they're targeting an MSRP of around probably 6,500, somewhere around that, for a single unit. That's not including the battery, uh, extra batteries. That's high, uh, that's high. It's that's, that's, that's kind of eye-popping high when you consider the, the Delta Pro unit is now running somewhere around the two grand mark, so to, shell out 6,500 for a new one. Uh, obviously much more capable, but it's it's a high mark. Um, I, I'm not sure that the, that's fair to the market. Some of the other uh, power stations that are on the market are um, certainly not that high, and they're very close in capabilities, at least some of the capabilities. We'll get more into that. Okay, lastly, let's get into this back sheet that they released yesterday. So this is great. It gives us dimensions, gives us um, net uh, weight. This is going to be a beefy thing. Um, you, if you combine inverter and battery together, you can see that that's not a light load. Um, but let's go to the output. All right. So they got six total AC outlets for uh, either 120, and then there's a 240 volt um, that we saw um, with a total output of 7,200 watts, which is good much improved from the Delta Pro. It can peak up to, I think we saw close to 10 thousand watts for about 10 seconds then you have your usb a's usb c's all basic stuff this very disappointing very disappointed in this dc put output 12.6 30 amps it's exact same thing that the delta pro has way way too low um 378 watt max uh definitely very disappointed we needed something much better than this that that's a, that's a mess uh by ecoflow all right, input though. Let's talk about that. This is good. This is great. Um, so you've got your 120, 240 up to 30 amps, so 3600 max, 7200 watts. Um, that would be essentially, um, you know, I think a perfect fit for this power station uh, based on what I'm seeing here. Um, I care a lot less. Personally, I care a lot less about the uh, AC inputs. Um, I don't use those nearly as much, but this would be using, um, if I'm understanding correctly, this would be using the Infinity connection with their new smart home panel uh, to get these kind of reads. And then if not, if you're doing the AC charging input, um, you're going to get your standard 15 amp, 1800 watt, unless you're doing 240 volt. So you get your 3000 watts. Okay. All right, moving on. This is what I care about. This right here. This is awesome. The high voltage PV input. So it has two inputs. One is high voltage, one's low voltage, right? Um, this one requires a string of at least 80 volts all the way up to 450, which is very good. Um, and 15 amps, eh, not as good. I would have liked 
more, always more, right? Always more, <laughs> but 15 amps. So giving you, uh, you know, a theoretical 4,000 Watts uh, input, which is great. You can simultaneously run a low voltage PV array into this one, which is more kind of on par with the Delta pro, the 1600 Watts. So together you can run them both simultaneously. 5,600 watts of input um, from your solar if you've got enough panels to do that. And I think that would be, uh, you know, I'd be certainly thrilled about this. This right here is is what is like the most exciting thing about the Delta Pro Ultra. Um, you can get into some of the other stuff, which is great. But this right here is the biggest thing. The fact sheet. Nothing too, um, you know, crazy here. But this is about the smart home panel, too. Um biggest thing is that they really kind of coming uh the existing smart home panel really has a 30 amp limit then this new one has a 60 amp limit so doubled that great stuff um can do up to 12 circuits which the existing does 10. um so not really even though it's a much bigger looking uh panel it's not really that uh improved <laughs> in, in terms of total numbers of circuits if you're going to want to run an entire house you're going to need multiple home panels uh, again uh, 12 is not going to be enough, especially if you're doing split phase. It's only going to be uh, six circuits. Beyond that, you know, you've got your um, you know max input, of course, is going to be 100 amps, which is awesome. Um, you know, that, that's that's close to most modern homes are going to be 200 amps, but um, this could do a, a very significant portion of your your home. And again, a max single circuit breaker of 60 amps. Um, you can have, you know, the, obviously you can do a generator input. That's not new. It's they've increased the amount, obviously. Um, not a lot here. I mean, the biggest disappointing thing for me is that the smart home panel is n the existing smart home panel is not compatible with the Delta pro ultra. That's still just a massive bummer. All right, so that's going to wrap up this quick teaser video. Not necessarily a lot. Uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, releases coming. Uh, EcoFlow is going to be releasing information over the next several days into November uh, about uh, the Delta Pro Ultra. Ultimately, they're going to announce the pricing and, and a lot more on that. And there's a lot of these now out in the wild. So you're going to start seeing a lot of videos coming out with people you know, running some some basic tests, uh, you know, not, nothing too in-depth because what they've got is probably mostly um, pre-release model. Uh, I, I shouldn't use that word, but, you know, it's not necessarily the final product. Those are going to start shipping in January. All right, I hope this helped. Uh, if not, um, you know, there's another video for you in, in the works, I'm sure. Uh, again, I think there's, just to recap, I'm excited about the Delta Pro Ultra. I think it's a good product. Uh, I, I'm disappointed because it could have been so much more. It could have really hit the mark, and, and they, they definitely uh, they didn't. Um, so as it is, it's a good product. I don't know that it's better than other options on the market now. Um, certainly, if you've invested in the Delta Pro lineup, um, this Ultra really has nothing for you um, other than, you know, Hey, you, you fool, um, you wasted all your money and, and you can, <laughs> uh, you can shell out a bunch more and replace everything you already bought. Okay, cool. Cool. Eco flow. Cool. All right. That's it. I'm going to stop ranting about it. You guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.